Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle He's gonna have a lot to think about that maybe he hasn't with other fighters. You going the distance with Pitbull, how much confidence does that give you going into this fight against the Feda, against another volume and hard hitting puncher like himself? Yeah, well, I I know that I have the the best chin in boxing. Uh, when at certain different times when Pitbull was fighting Gervonta Davis, you know. Gervonta, look, holy shit, he was in the corner, like, you know, fighting for his life. Uh, I took those right on the chin, and, you know, I was surprised myself. I was like, yo, is he gonna, maybe I'm getting lucky, you know, maybe the next one knocks me out, you know. It took two or three rounds of that to be like, holy shit, like, stop running from this guy. You're the bigger, stronger guy. There's nothing that he can do that's gonna fucking hurt you. And I learned that a little bit too late. It started putting pressure later on in the fight. Um, I would love that rib match, you know. I would love that rib match because this time I'll push him back. He, I know he cannot fight going backwards. Uh, he's had that exposed in other fights. And uh, if he's got the balls to do it, let's do it. He's fighting Rayo, and I don't know if you saw that. You didn't give him the handshake or something like that. Rayo was trying to shake Pitbull's hand, and he didn't see it. Did you oh, see that, no, and what no, is your no, reaction no. I think the boxing gods uh, don't like that, as Gabriel Flores found out, you know. That's, uh, uh, Ryo's a, a, a ballsy, damn good, you know, he's, he'll give trouble to anybody in the lightweight division for sure. I think he's got a good shot to beat him, and uh, he should have just respected him. You know, White double down on the, you know, you're not really a pit bull, man. <laughs> Giovanni, how have you evolved under Freddy? Um, you know, there's so many things about boxing theory that people try to teach. I think boxing, you know, is flooded with people who really don't know what the hell they're talking about because you can't, um, if I wanted to be an NFL coach, I couldn't just say, oh, I'm an NFL coach. I would have to have gone to universities, uh, have winning championship teams. So boxing is filled with people who just sign up and say, oh, I'm a trainer. Uh, Freddie as a successful Hall of Fame legend, you know, through experience, through have having so many world champions and say this is the right way and I know for certain that it is. So it eliminates a lot of doubt in your mind, you know. Break, break down that fight. Martin, who do you like in that one and do you want the winner? Of course I want the winner, man. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, well, may the best man win. You know, I don't really have a preference, but, you know, I would like Tank to win just so I could fight Tank. I think Tank's a badass dude. You know, he's, actually, he's just knocked out everybody, knocked out Ryan. Um, that's what excites me, you know. The, the bigger, the better the beast, the more uh, great, more intelligent I'm going to look when I slam. So. What can you not afford to do against... 